Girl Adventures, aka Michelle. I am headed to an estate sale this morning in Indian Wells, which is just one city over. It's a tattoo mark estate sale. There's been no photos, so this is going to be a crapshoot to see what um what's there. Jin is not going with me. Neither is Tammy. Her head hurts this morning, so oh well. But I am rocking my so oh well. So oh well. <laughs> Sorry. She, it, the, the video is much better with Tammy in it, but, but, and she's like, do not film me today. I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> but I'm rocking my, I'd flip that shirt, although I will have the chest harness on it, so part of it will be blocked. Sorry about that. I haven't worn it for a while, so it's time. Right, Jim? What do you say? Do you have anything to say? Hello. That, the BLT clothing is... Mark's new store. Hey everybody, it's future Michelle. <laughs> so, uh, Tattoo Mark likes to play music at the state sales and, and I enjoy it. But unfortunately, when it's going and you can hear it, I have to overdub the video because of uh, copyright strikes. So, well, this is the second day of the sale. It started yet on a Friday. This is a Saturday. And it seems pretty picked over already. So, you're gonna get, a, for a good chunk of this estate sale, you're gonna hear me talking. I'll put some music in the background so it's not just me. But, that shirt I thought might have been something, but I put it back. There just wasn't really much there. I'm flipping through some DVDs. DVDs usually, unless they're sealed. Oh, there's a game, I thought. Until I opened it. I'm like, wow. <laughs> then I saw this, this non-fiction how to dance a fox trot. So I picked that up. And second bedroom here. I'm like, let's go straight to the bathroom because I know the walk in. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I spotted these shoes. They're Italian shoes, but just didn't recognize the name. And I did look them up, but they weren't really weren't worth picking up. And aha, uh -huh, walk-in closet. Okay, future Michelle is back. So now I'm checking out that master bedroom a little bit closer. And I spotted this neat quilt. It's very small. I think it's just supposed to be thrown over a chair. And it it looks handmade, but the stitching is too straight, so I think it's machine handmade. But I know quilts can sell for a lot of money. So I, I went ahead and made sure there was no stains. It's fall themed, so I'm like, we'll pick it up with the heck. That lady I passed up, you can see her in the mirror, she was eyeing it too. I'm like, mm, I'm going to grab it. <laughs> then I spot this almost new in box Linksys modem. And I know that would probably sell for a decent amount, but I can't sell technology because my full time job has to do with technology, and I don't want them thinking I took it and to resell like so I, I have to leave this stuff behind for now these towels are really cool a um, little embroidered but they were really pilled and not in the greatest condition so i left those behind Turn the doors nope nothing there I spotted this neat piloting book it was old 
not in fabulous condition, but I, I do gravitate towards old books. So I'm like, eh. You know, I know Tattoo Mark is very fair prices for pickers especially, so I'm, I went ahead and grabbed that. It's from uh, 1970. Carousel. I'll put it back. I checked out this Casio um, because sometimes those can go for a decent amount of money. But um, I comped. I comped it online before I left, and they, it just wasn't worth picking up. So I ended up leaving it behind. Really nice TV. No one's taken it. There wasn't much here in the kitchen. I was just checking it out. They had little kind of junky pieces, but like that when I picked up, it was really flimsy feeling, so put that back. I walked past that food processor. I probably should have picked that up to part out, but I always think about where am I going to store things too, so I went past it. There was this cool cookbook, but it's literally falling off the spine. <laughs> so I did not get that one. And that was a cool little old um, crock cookery book. Um, I forgot what year that was from, but I went ahead and I picked that up. That Betty Crocker one was awesome, but again, it was just really falling apart. In hindsight, there's a crock pot right there. Should I have picked that up? I don't know if those sell for a lot. And it looked like a vintage one. But, you know, while I was editing this video, I spotted it and went, why didn't I pick that up? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. I put it back. <laughs> that was really cheap too, so I passed. Hi again. <laughs> I thought maybe that was a Starbucks cup. It was not, so I'll... that piece I almost picked up, but I passed. Again, I'm thinking about storage, and so I thought about it, but and then this, this piece down there, let's get, there we go. It's a cool set. It's a, it's a Sango set, which is exactly like an older set that I had, except I didn't have the cool colors on it. It was just brown. But they had almost a full set there. You're missing some pieces. But I ended up texting Tammy, which you'll see in a little bit. I said, hey, do you like this design? Because we we need some. And uh, she's like, yeah. And I'm like, cool, I'll pick it up. So I ended up buying it all. Yeah, I was like walking away from it. I'm like, oh, no, let me, let me ask Tammy. Take a picture and send it to her. horrible signal. I, I switched to T-Mobile last year and have regretted it. But the message did get through because she did respond. Look at all the glassware. There's some cool gold rim glasses, but they're all chipped. It had a cool mid-century modern look, but not in the condition they were in. Then I went outside. 
this one doesn't have a lot of stuff. Now I know why he didn't post pictures. <laughs> Swamp cooler. What is this? Uh, um. Oh, it's a tourist here. That is old. But I don't really do local pickup, and that would be way expensive to ship. I don't know if it's worth it. Man. I do want to look at those albums though before I give up. I got a few items, but maybe I should go back into the closets, but I didn't really see much in there. I finally made it to the pile of vinyl, and it really didn't have much in there except for this Les Paul album. I'm chit chatting with that lady. She's talking about finding the Bill Cosby record. <laughs> <laughs> Les Paul is a um, famous guitarist, and I, you know, unfortunately the the cover was split on the side. I don't, and it's just out of camera, so it's not in the greatest condition. The cover, but the vinyl was in really good condition, and the picture part of the of the cover was really nice. So I'm like, I'm gonna pick this up. going out to check out I'm just looking for something because I, I typically buy a whole bunch of stuff at, at his estate sales but I just could not find very much I still don't know what that is it just looked interesting <laughs> Bought a little metal here in a second. Oh my god. This is a Grandma Gatewood metal. I just had read a book about her. She's like a 70 something year old that hiked the Appalachian Trail. And um, she's famous in the hiking re uh, realm, anyways. and. It must have been a walking or hiking competition that someone participated in. I'm sure it's a mark. He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that place didn't have a lot of stuff. Now I know why he didn't take pictures, but it was super close to home. I got here in 15 minutes, um, just like four or five miles away, just around one of these mountains, <laughs> these small mountains. So what I'm going to do is head home and there's some yard sales on the way home. So I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can, oh, can't turn too sharply though. Things are gonna fly around there. <laughs> um, gonna go see if we can find anything at yard sales. I was only there for about 45 minutes, which is really short for me. And it's 8.45 now, so I don't know if there's gonna be anything good still at the yard sales, but I've found things past nine o'clock in the past, so we're gonna give it a try. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Oh, good morning. How you doing? Pretty good. Ooh, those are cool boots. Oh, those are cool boots. Those are 11. It's not a little. Wow, how much are you asking for them? Ah. I think 10 bucks for them. Those are cool. I've got it just because, why not? <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're like, okay, sold. San Diego, they're formidable. This coming into this year, yeah, the we Padres. Were so excited last year. I know. I'm I surprised so you didn't do. It. it was great. Yeah. My son's a Dodgers fan, so we were at yeah. war in the household. You know? Nice. <laughs> I was. Um, I'm an Angels fan. I know it's yeah. bad. <laughs> it's bad. Especially when Artie's like, "Just kidding. I'm not selling the team." Um, but we went to a Padres game. Who were they playing? 
I don't remember. They won. The Padres won, so we were happy. Yeah, Yeah, we went. We drove down there. Stayed the night at a hotel like Caddy Corner, which Mm -hmm. is nice. Right. Downtown district is great. I know. It's really. You just walk around, you know, just kind of. That was really cool. I mean, literally, there's a taco shop like right down from the, uh, from the um, the stadium. Right. That's really cool. This is neat too. It's like a a weatherproof on the side there. Uh Oh, cool. You pull that out and you drape it over it. Oh, nice. That's neat. That's cool too. Oh, I'm surprised these were still there. They're too cool looking. She had an old pair too. We got rid of that, the Uh matching Harley style. Uh Uh It was probably the right size for the person or something. Yeah. Yeah. She's only an eight, so. Yeah. Uh Cool. Has you got a cover too? That's nice. Yeah, it's a universal XL for most bikes. Uh huh. And it, you can adjust it, it's pretty adjustable. Oh, that's nice. No holes or anything? Or? No holes. The uh, drawstrings are a little worn. Uh huh. Just because that's I've cool. been out in the sun, but that's got yeah. the water, UV and water resistant pretty well. That's neat that too. How much are, just out of curiosity, how much is that? I was just asking 40 for the, the cover. The cover? Yeah. yeah. I thought, you, I thought you had phones, Mike. You're selling phones now. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the covers. Those, uh, covers yeah. yeah. Those are cool. This is bikes. Oh, I didn't see all your clothing, too. Yes. Wow. Let's see what's there. Somebody had a job that they had to wear black polo shirts, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all ours are the same. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, let me definitely sure. get these. Cool. You said 10? Dig for my wallet. I just went to an estate sale and there was like hardly anything there. I'm like, mm. Usually, pretty, you got quite a selection normally for estate. Yeah, sale. but this one, I'm like, nah. I'm like, okay, I'll just hit my yard sales close right. to home. So, thank you there you go. Much. Cool, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. All right, you too. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot. Thanks. I just realized I was supposed to go to the post office today and I forgot. So, this is my last stop. <laughs> to drop off some sales. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh well, got a lot of the... Dog man stuff. That's so cute. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even see the shoes. Artwork too. <laughs> oh, bending over. <laughs> Control Island. How much are your jeans and everything? Um, oh. A dollar? Okay, cool. Looks like a it's look like juniors. <laughs> well, maybe not though. It's just a 29 inch and same. That's not bad. Maybe. Let's see. You keep digging. Whoa. That 
one's bigger. Ah, oh, darn. It's just toy. That one's neat looking. That one's cool looking. That one's an interesting one. I'll definitely do the aunt. Oops, that fell. This is really interesting. That is really neat. That is vintage. Ah. That is a really neat piece. How much is this? Okay. It just, it just screams like 1980s or 90s. So I'm like, let's pick that up. There we go. Let's see. Oh, let's see that. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Let's see the pin. Huh. Do that too. Gotta make sure I'm not stepping on anything. <laughs> I just didn't want to take down anything accidentally, so. That's a cool little denim jacket. In good shape, too. That's cool. Okay, so. I don't think I've missed anything. <laughs> Wait, where, ooh, I didn't even see this. These are cool. I didn't even see this one I walked up. No. I, I rarely see blue ones, so. <laughs> okay, so I've got this, the jeans jacket, a pair of jeans, um, the sweatshirt, and then the VHS tape, too. So. Um, $3.25? Okay, yeah, I'll grab that for you because I'm juggling. Okay. I even have, I do have 25 cents. What? <laughs> Lucky day. I know. <laughs> To be. Right? I'm like, yep, yeah, that's what I have. Cool. Okay, well, so here is the quarter. There we go. And $3 there, I believe. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, you guys sell out. You got a lot, yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot to sell through. <laughs> All right, thanks. Take care. All right, you too. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. It's about the beginning to almost mid February right now, and we're already back in shorts and t shirts. Um, I think the high today is supposed to be in the upper 70s. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, um, yeah, yard sale, yard sale season is still going strong here in the desert. It's not even cold anymore. Maybe in the mornings, very early, but thank you for joining me anyways. Um, even though you guys probably hate me because of the weather. <laughs> and I'll talk to you next time. See ya. Bye.